Hello everyone. Welcome to scarier.com. I am your educator Dr. Lara M. Munir and today we are going to talk about bleeding, bleeding and lots of it, specifically in the context of the GI, the gastrointestinal bleeding. Let me give you an overview of how we are going to proceed with this lecture. We're going to start with the anatomy. Uh, we are going to classify the GI tract into an upper GI and the lower GI tract. What are the various demarcations uh, where we characterize it? And why do we characterize this uh, bleeding uh, in the upper GI bleed and the lower GI bleed? Then we are going to look at the various clinical manifestations, whether the GI bleeding is uh, overt or visible to us, or what are the clinical signs and symptoms of occult or hidden GI bleeding? What are the, uh, the various uh, symptomatology that raises a suspicion of uh, someone presenting with GI bleed? Again, the areas of bleeding will be characterized into the upper GI, the small intestine or the colon. What are the various presentations of the different areas of bleeding and uh, which help us in characterizing that bleeding into an upper GI and a lower GI bleed? <clears throat> Going forwards, some of the common and uh, causes of the upper GI bleeding are going to be discussed. Some of the uncommon causes are also going to be discussed. We are going to discuss their presentation in slight details. What are the different clinical points in history that uh, we can help us differentiate from uh, one cause from another. Then we are going to proceed with the lower GI bleed. Uh, what are the various causes of the lower GI bleeding? Again, the Common causes are discussed in slight detail and then we are going to just highlight some uncommon causes and what are the different clinical points uh, which can help, which can be helpful in differentiating one pathology from the other. Uh, in the latter part of the lecture, we are going to discuss how we are going to approach someone presenting with a GI bleed. Uh, what are the various steps involved? Uh, how do we stabilize the patient if the patient is unstable? And after stabilizing, how do we differentiate an upper GI bleed from a lower GI bleed? And what are the different contrasting points in the management of the both disorders? A thorough uh, explanation of uh, someone presenting with the upper GI bleed or someone who is hemodynamically unstable, that will be discussed. And then in the latter part of the lecture, we are going to summarize our whole discussion and different analogies and context or the different screening tests which we can do in the context of this uh, GI bleeding to rule out carcinoma as well. So to watch this complete lecture and thousands of other similar lectures on different topics, you can have a top, uh, lectures on anatomy, physiology, if you are weak in basic sciences or if you are an advanced student and you want to learn about clinical medicine, emergency medicine, some surgery or some pediatrics, we have it all covered. Log on to scardia.com and start your free trial today.